morning guys it is week number four of azimuth 24 nautical models uh, this week we are slammed with work for the power washing business so praise god i'm thankful for that uh, sadly it means we're not going to get much time to work on azimuth but i'm committed to getting you guys content and so i'm going to take you along a uh, day in the life here of uh, power washing business as uh, so you can see what it's all about we got three jobs to do today i'm going to head on down to the shop and grab the equipment and then i'll take you guys along for the ride first job site it'll be a small office building we're just gonna be doing uh, kind of uh, some curb appeal work so cleaning a little bit of their concrete a little bit of their siding just to make the front look better but I'm gonna head on over there I'll meet you guys at the job site and we'll start washing all right just pulled up here at job one for the day so it's a real small uh, office building just gonna be cleaning up the front here uh, so we're just going to be washing this little sidewalk and then there, uh, the front of their building, front patio here. It shouldn't take too long. As you can see, we got a lot of uh, like dirt, dust just from being by the road here. Uh, so we're going to get this cleaned up for them. That's yeah, so one very important thing we do on, especially on older properties like this, we want to make sure we seal all the seams. Uh, normally these older properties are not very watertight. Nobody's here today, so we want to make sure we don't have any water ingress in there. But we're all set up. I was just prepped. We're going to start washing. So since this is an older building, we're doing a process called soft washing. Uh, basically what that is, is we're putting on a detergent onto the house right now. We're gonna let it sit, let it do most of the work, and then we'll come in with hot water, kind of flush all that dirt and dust out. All right guys, and that is a wrap. Uh, job number one done in the books, just under two hours. Uh, our next job is about a block away. You can actually see it from here. Uh, I'm gonna head on over there. I'll meet you guys there, we'll get that one knocked out. All right, just backed up to our next job site here. This one's an auto shop. Uh, I got some pretty nasty oil stains on their concrete here. And we got a couple oil stains out front we're gonna treat. Uh, oil stains and concrete, it's quite tricky. Uh, these are pretty deep, so I made it aware to them. They're not going to get much better, but owner just wanted to get the, uh, the surface level oils off, so we can do that for them. And that is a wrap. Much better than I expected. A ton of the oil came out, so super happy with that. About two hours, on to the next job. Two jobs down so far. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the shop. The next job we're doing is gonna require us to bring our own water, so we're gonna fill up our tank and head out and go grab some lunch, and then we'll uh, head on over across town to the third job for the day.
let's go get some lunch. Justin? Yeah. Thank you. You too. Last job of the day. Got this uh, patio here to get washed off for him. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so the customer's main concern here was I think there was some bird poop and stuff. I think they're having a company event, so just wanted it cleaned up. Should uh, be relatively quick here. about an hour and a half of work and all cleaned up so looking nice and that is a wrap three for three so we are just about done for the day I'm gonna head on back to the shop uh, gas up clean up equipment and uh, drop everything off at home send some invoices and uh, call it a day so I appreciate you guys joining along I know this was a little bit different than usual but uh, hope you enjoyed Hope you'll consider subscribing and joining along as we seek to do business honestly here on Salty Nomad. See you guys next week.